Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel QQ Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a quick wheel learner, and in this video, I will share my learning about the pie chart. As you know, the pie chart is used to show the distribution of values over a circle for one dimension. So, for example, we have these sales values which we want to see on a circle, like how they are distributed by this region. So, let's go ahead and create a pie chart and see what we just discussed. So let's right click on the blank space, go to new shade object and click on the chart. <clears throat> you click on this pie chart, which is here. You click next and uh, the dimension is region. So in this dimension, dimension section, we will pick this region and click add and we will make this selection suppress when value is null so that we remove all of the null values if there are any click on next and here we will enter the expression which is sum of this sales percentages so let's enter the formula sum brackets and it's sales all right just press tab okay and let's give a label as a regional sales well, let's click uh, finish to see what it is there all right so now you see here we have on this circle these data points are distributed for this region now if we go on any of the section so here you have this USA and you can see a point is indicating uh, in the legends as this is a USA region but on the pop-up text you see the regional sales is zero now this is because uh, these values are showed as percentage whereas we are showing here as a normal values so for to show the percentage we need to convert these values into the percentage values so we'll right click on the chart go to properties and in the number we will say these are the integer but show them as percentage click on apply okay all right so now you can see we have regional sales appearing as 21 percent or this section is appearing as nine percent with japan and it will help us to clearly visibly to, to have a clear visibility where our sales are maximum where the sales are minimum where we need to improve on and then you can draw the inferences from this chart. Now let's get uh, some of the important properties of this chart. So for example, if we right click on the chart, go to properties and uh, in the style tab, if we see what are the different types of styles available and uh, we can see you have n number of styles. So you have a donut kind of a shape, you have a 3D shape, uh, you have this higher kind of a shape so if you click this and click apply you know the shape will change accordingly so this is just to give you a good look and feel about how you want to have the presentation of values so if you want to present in the term of a donut you click apply and the values will be changed accordingly and then if you want to have the values on data points or the value on these graphical figures or beside to these gra graphical figures then you can go ahead with expression tab and click on value on data points so we enable this click on apply and you will see our values are will now appear for these sections that will clearly indicate what is the percentage they are having over this donut so this is pretty much uh, all I wanted to discuss in this video and uh, you can go ahead and explore some more features that you have in presentation you know you have different options like pop-up labels suppress zero values you can you know explore all of these options and then uh, utilize in a best possible way in your dashboard so thank you for watching this video I hope you will find this video useful and I will meet you in a next video with a new chart till then bye bye